Hey everyone, it's Joe, aka the Trash Bandit. We got a little bit different uh, stuff going on for you tonight. We've got the normal three segments, but we're going to throw in one extra new segment. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the thrifting finds of the day, we're going to do trash picking, we are going to do what's sold, and the new segment for just tonight only is we're going to do an unboxing or an unbagging of a bag of storage unit stuff that I purchased from a fellow YouTuber called Chase Thrifts and Chase does storage units and he does he sells on his eBay channel a bag of let's call it crap because we're kind of a uh, kid friendly channel I guess I don't want to swear so Chase bag of crap uh, storage unit crap so yeah so we're gonna pull that out and we're gonna go through that and see what he sent us uh, so we have no idea what's in the bag we haven't opened it yet so that'll be uh, coming up all next okay we're gonna start with our thrifting finds and we're gonna go ahead and uh, run down through them really quick and show you guys comps on everything uh, so we don't make this a super long video we're just kind of buzz through everything okay first up is clue we paid $2.99 it is still 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 sealed uh, it's clue 24 and I ran some comps on that it sold on October 6th for $20.49 in new condition uh, and twelve dollars and twenty five cents shipping so that was the most recent sale so we can maybe get twenty bucks out of that and we paid three so that's a good uh, good deal next up is this weatherproof Krypton spotlight uh, it's convertible and uh, two different handle positions and plugs into the 12 volt in your car and uh, I got paid five dollars for that I thought that would be good for trash picking so I'm probably gonna keep that but I did run comps on it uh, looks like around $16.99 plus shipping uh, in a new condition mine's not new so maybe ten to fifteen dollars uh, in this condition and then uh, going down the line here we got the Sunbeam ceramic electric fan heater and I ran some comps on that those are selling as recently as September 21st for $33 plus $10 shipping. And we paid, I want to say we paid $6.99 $6 for that. So I thought uh, that's an easy $20 flip on Facebook Marketplace or I can maybe, I'll probably just put it on eBay. So $33 on eBay, $35, something like that. All right, going down, we have another boom box. Uh, everything looks good on it. Antenna looks good. So we'll have to test it. Make sure that the um, make sure that the tape player works. Make sure that the CD player works. Make sure that everything works. But if we do got a working unit, this particular model sells. Uh, actually, has not sold recently. They're asking $70 in working condition, $35 when the tape player doesn't work. But uh, when you look at completed listings, there's some similar models. Uh, I don't want to look at completed, I want to look at sold. There's some similar models that did sell. Uh, this one's very similar, $80, free shipping, $65. This one here is... Uh, the 81 we have the 81 this is the 91 50 dollars and 50 dollars shipping so i think we can do okay with that uh but we paid i think 6.99 for this yep 6.99 on the back there all right and then we got two uh receivers we got an optimus uh receiver uh and an onkyo receiver and it paid five dollars for both of those let's go ahead and look at the comps on them First, the Optimus, it's STA-795, most recently sold on September 28th for $49.99 free shipping. So let's just say that would cost us $15 to ship, maybe 20 tops. Uh, we got five into it, we got 25 bucks. So we'd probably make a $20, $25 profit on that. I figured it was worth picking up. 
And then the Onkyo is super heavy. This one's really heavy. Um, the the other one wasn't as heavy, but this one's super super heavy. So I'm not sure how how much that's going to cost to ship. I haven't weighed it yet, but it just it just feels really heavy. Uh, the most recently was August 31st, and that was $119 with the free shipping. So we have five dollars into it. Say it costs twenty-five dollars to ship it. We got thirty bucks into it. Fees and stuff. Maybe we can make sixty dollars on it. Um, profit possibly. We do have to test them to make sure they both work. Uh, so we have to test those. We have to test this. We have to test the heater. I'm gonna test this, but I'm probably gonna keep it. I may clean this pan up a little bit. This pan is the last item. We paid $4.99 for this. The one thing that drew me to this was the weight. It is super heavy. It's and then I saw it's all clad and it has like a copper ring around it. And I just had this feeling that this was one of the ones that were a good uh pan to pick up. And Hustlin' Hooks did a video on pots and pans, and they make a good bit of money selling pots and pans. And made in the USA ones are the way to go and this is made in the usa it did not say that on it but i looked it up by the name here all clad and what i found was i found this one here 12 inch fry pan with the helper handle that's what they call this other handle down here at the end the helper handle and it's 85 dollars and 20 dollars to ship it so that's 105 dollars but then i also saw down just a little bit farther Mm, where was it right here same pan 126 dollars and six dollars eight dollars and seventy cents shipping but this one has the lid mine doesn't have the lid so maybe without the lid i might be looking at 80 to 100 dollars without the lid um, i'm not sure about these scratches here they're not they don't really feel like scratches but that may all clean up i'm gonna do i'm gonna try, give it an attempt uh hustling hooks has a video on how to clean pots and pans uh, they recommend bar tenders helper which we actually use uh on our toilets and different things uh it's th that stuff works amazing um we we had some marks on our on our toilet that nothing would take off and uh, bartenders uh, helper took it right off it was metal metal marks metal and ceramic don't really mix but if you get marks on your toilet from metal we had a metal um snake and I thought, I thought we were gonna have to replace the toilet and here it turned out that that bartender's helper would just just cleaned it right up and it's the only thing that we that that you know it was like our last resort someone recommended it you just can't believe how great that bartender's helper uh works and it's cheap so pick that up and make sure you have that on hand so and um so yeah this was a great find i'm really excited to uh, try and clean that up and get a list of the night and see where that where that goes but yeah the, a lot of good finds here these these receivers um, this and this and the unopened game all good finds all good profit margin uh, very very happy with our finds today so uh, that's it for the thrifting finds of the day all right guys it's been a while since we've been out trash picking so here we are let's see if we can uh, find like maybe one or two things out here tonight uh, gonna be a quick night out but let's just let's just hope for one or two items that would be cool we got a bike here looks in pretty in good shape I think we'll go ahead and take that tubs here but man they look dirty uh, pressure washer electric it's in pretty rough shape I think I'm gonna let that stuff go it's kind of out of season right now here we got the Sesame Street that looks pretty nice that's the bins
should have took the covers on my truck. I kind of forgot. Got some bikes here. No seats. It's hmm. interesting. No, I don't think I'm interested in the seatless bikes. I just passed uh, another bike back there right before those two that had no seat as well. So I think what's going on there is somebody's already been through here, didn't want to pick up the bikes, but they picked up the seats. So I think what they're doing is they're like putting the seats on eBay or something because it's small and easy to ship. You don't have to worry about the bike itself though. So I think that actually is probably not a bad idea. I may start doing that myself um, if I see bikes out and I don't want to take the bike because it's in bad shape, but if the seat's in good shape and it's easy to get off, why not take the seat, sell the seat? I think that's probably a, a smart idea and I think that's what happened here uh, tonight. I think somebody uh, took the seats on these three bikes that I saw so far. Some stuff over here, I don't know what it is. I think I'll take these. daughter might play with these a little bit and then we'll get rid of them that one looks in better shape than this one although that's just whatever that is that'll come off got some chairs here a little messed up there a little rusty yeah oh uh, torn torn and rusty Alright, so we're back at the storage unit. We're gonna unload what we got tonight. Uh, we just got uh, these two items and these two down here on the on the ground. We got this Sesame Street uh, bin. It's really cute. And uh, it's missing one bin. There's two of these two of these things, but only one bin, one of the green bins. So it's missing a bin, but still it's kind of cool. And we got this bike. The plastic chain guard is broken, but we can just take this off and take this off. And uh, we have a pretty uh, cool uh, rally bike, so that's a nice find. And then we got these two skateboard things. I don't know what you even want to call these, but I think you, I don't know how you ride these things. You got to spin back and forth or something. I used to, I don't think I can do it. I used to ride, but I don't think I can anymore not something like that but yeah I can still ride a skateboard but not these and I never rode one of these and weird <laughs> but anyways um, I'll take one of those home let my daughter play with it and the other one will sell and then uh, when she's done with it I'll sell that the other one too so yeah that's kind of where I'm at so we got like a couple items here we can put in a storage unit uh, I have a lot of stuff in there that I still need to uh, get listed so I haven't been listing things in there so that's on my to-do list this weekend. Uh, I have a lot of soccer games and stuff for my daughter, so I've been busy. But as soon as I get, get caught up with all that, I'm going to start listing this stuff and get things going out. All right, so that's, uh, that's it for trash picking. Okay, what's sold? We got two items lined up for what's sold. The total of $36.93 in sales today. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. All right, first one was the game... Quelf. I don't know if that's some saying that right. Q U E L F. All right, and that is uh, sold for nine dollars plus shipping, so total of seventeen ninety six. So let's go and grab that. That should be over here with our board games. And where do we have that game? Right here. Okay, so that's the first game right there. All right, and we have another game, The Office Trivia Board Game, uh, sold for $10 plus $18, no, I'm sorry, plus shipping, which is $18.97. So let's grab The Office. That game is right here. 
Whoops, I better fix that. Sorry, sliders took a slide. All right, so you know, I got to tell you, um, the last couple days we sold a couple board games, and I was starting to panic a little bit that these board games were going to just sit here, but I'm, I'm happy to see them uh, start moving a little bit. So. I did bring the price down on a few of them. I've been dropping some prices just to try and move some stuff. So, but still at the price that I've been paying for these, usually uh, $2.99, sometimes $1.99, uh, we're still making a little bit of money. It's not, I mean, it's not huge money. It's not this kind of money. <laughs> um, you know, a hundred dollar profit on one item. So I think that's that pot, that pan right there has opened my eyes to. A whole new world like I'm thinking uh, I, I watched the I'm gonna mention them again the hooks uh, hustling hooks uh, I just they opened my eyes to how quickly you can make a hundred dollars profit whereas if I'm making five to ten dollars profit I have to do ten sales here where there I'm making one sale for a hundred dollars profit so which would you rather have I mean come on I would rather have a sale where I make eighty to a hundred dollars profit instead of 10 sales where I'm making five to ten dollars profit so um, I'm definitely gonna be looking gonna keep my eyes open for more profitable items but at the same time I'm not gonna walk away from other sales so I mean I, I'm gonna definitely still continue to do other things but if I'm at the thrift shop and I find like five items that are really profitable I'm probably gonna turn away from some of the smaller stuff so but if I'm there and there's nothing I may pick up some of the smaller stuff so I think that's the way I'm going to work it. I'm going to go with a little bit of both because uh, you can't always score big. All right, let's go ahead and get these shipped, uh, packaged up and shipped out. And uh, that'll be the end of what sold today. Okay, just as I wrapped it all up and was finishing boxing up those two items, another sale came in. So let's add that on quick. It's another $21.88. That's uh, Vintage Battleship 1984. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that. That sold for twelve dollars and eighty cents plus uh, shipping, so a total of twenty one eighty eight. Uh, vintage Battleship nineteen eighty four. That should be. Uh, there's this one and this one, so I got to figure out um, which one it is. So let me go ahead and put the camera down for a second. Um, I also have this one, which I don't think I have. I don't remember if I have that listed or not. So I got a couple battleships. Let's get this squared away. I don't want to ship the wrong one. Okay, so 1984 is right there. And I looked at the front of it and I pulled up the listing, and that's the one right there. So I got the right one here. So let's go ahead and get that set up. All right, looks like I got it set up as a three pound uh, weight. Uh, for 784 to ship it out. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get that boxed up. Okay, the uh, long battleship board game. Uh, I actually used um, two boxes and sliced the the one in half so that uh, I could overlap them. So here I overlapped them and taped them together. So you can see uh, just how I did that. Um, makes it look actually pretty nice when it's all said and done. Um, and then this way because it's a um priority mail box not a just a regular mailing box like it says here mailing box um and not a flat rate box uh i can you know pay by the weight so if i if i use the they make a board game box that's similar to this that you wouldn't have to cut it cut it in pieces and stuff uh but you're going to pay more in proceeds because it's flat rate so in this scenario i think it was seven dollars and some change to ship this I think the 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 I think the board game box is like 12 or 15, 12 or 14, something like that. I don't remember, but it's half the price to to make your to do this the way I did it. I think. Okay, so that last uh, sale that just snuck in with the battleship board game that brought our total sales for the day up to 58.81. So that's our total uh, sales out the door today, including the shipping and everything. So not a bad day. Uh, not as good as yesterday, but we will take it. So. Um, and who knows, maybe we'll get any some more sales yet before we're done with this. So we're going to move on now to opening up uh, the bag we bought from Thrift uh, Chase Thrifts. So that's going to be, uh, that's kind of ex I'm excited to do that. I have no idea what's in this bag, so 
it's uh, exciting and I kind of like doing stuff like this so let's go ahead and get that set up and we'll do that okay uh, Chase Drifts uh, bag of storage unit stuff or crap or whatever the other word is that he might have used uh, so uh, it's a YouTube special uh, on his YouTube channel and we paid $13 for it. Uh, we, I was watching one of his videos and he mentioned that he just throws in a whole bunch of stuff into a flat rate envelope and it's, you know, it's like a grab bag. So I thought, oh, that's really cool. I was like, and I, you know, I wanted to support his channel. So I went ahead and purchased it. I had, to be honest with you, I had, I had uh, eBay points that I needed to use or they were going to expire. So I thought, what a better way to do, use them. I, I didn't need anything at that moment. I just thought I would, you know, spend them on, uh, uh, a grab bag from from Chase so $13.78 with the tax and this is what we ended up with right here so we are gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what's inside all right let's see what we got in here I'm not really sure what my uh, game plan is for this I'm thinking you know, maybe there's some maybe there's some stuff in here that uh, we can resell. Maybe there's some stuff we'll keep. I'm just not entirely sure. Okay. This is exciting. Okay, first thing out of the bag. We got some nail polish, Revlon, <laughs> Bear Yell, Instant Liquid Nail Hardener. <laughs> well, this is kind of fun. This is some sort of uh, perfume. And then some more nail paint. And then we got this really funky kind of looking hat. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So we'll keep going here. Let's see what else we got. All right, up next, we got some jewelry. I'm not really sure what that is. And then we got a whole bunch of other jewelry in here earrings and whatnot I definitely can relate relate to this because I have a very similar collection of jewelry it's mostly costume jewelry or whatnot all right well what do we got in here it certainly looks like Wow. Got a gold chain. I'm sure it's not real gold. I would think that he would check that before he sends it out. Although maybe he doesn't. I don't see any markings and then this is looks like it opens up to hold some sort of picture or something inside maybe okay interesting Next up, we got some heart bead frames. Use round six millimeter or multiple smaller beads. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what those are. They're kind of heavy. Okay. We got some more uh, pieces of jewelry here. A cross. God loves. Piece of, uh, looks like an earring, and then I don't know what that is some sort of char charm or 
something from a necklace maybe. Oh, we got a fingerboard. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm starting to get a little nervous here. What's coming out of here? All right, we got a, what do they call them, dream, dream catcher? He's definitely got a bag of random stuff here. J&T Recovery, Lafayette, Indiana, pen. We got some cup hooks. Can use them somewhere probably. All right, we got a lighter with skulls on it. And it works. Okay. Oh, no way. Bitcoin. A fake Bitcoin. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. That's my favorite piece so far. Sometimes in coin pushers, uh, they put these in. Uh, and then you can turn them in for prizes or something in, in uh, casinos with coin pushers. But it's basically just a fake Bitcoin. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like tech stuff. Uh, no value or anything, but it's definitely, definitely kind of neat. <laughs> um, a guest checkbook in case we want to, you know, make some orders of uh, lunch or dinner or whatever. <laughs> Slightly trashy pin. Some flair. <laughs> well, this is kind of fun. I'm enjoying this. Okay, so this is the last item. <laughs> okay, it's a stocking. <laughs> okay, this is really funny. It's like a Christmas time. Let's see what? So let's see what uh, Santa Chase is. Uh, Put in our stocking okay we got a pair of made in china sunglasses leopard print kind of go with our kind of goes with our hat okay what we got next here we got some uh writing fluid schaefer's script writing fluid okay that's really interesting Oh, we got a deck of cards. And I don't think they've ever been used or else they or else, you know, somebody put them in order. something else down here let's see what we got oh wow we got a is that dog chain or some sort of collar and i think that is it yep all right so if you take a look here this is what 13 dollars will get you <laughs> definitely got me some entertainment because I enjoyed this and I think my favorite piece is the Bitcoin <laughs> it's definitely storage unit stuff I mean for someone that has done storage units before this is storage unit stuff so I got what I was expecting pretty much right on it's uh, definitely random stuff. So, yeah, that was entertaining. I enjoyed that. So, thanks, Chase, uh, for sending me your bag of stuff. Uh, enjoyed that. I'll put a link to Chase's uh, channel, uh, Chase Thrifts, down in the description of this video. So, that's the end of the unboxing. So, hope you enjoyed that. All right, thanks for watching tonight. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you like content like this um, and then also the bell for notifications and uh, hit the like button on the video if you liked it and leave us some comments. Uh, let us know what you thought of uh, the new segment where we opened up uh, Chase's uh, bag of uh, 
crap. <laughs> and uh, if you like that, maybe we can buy some some stuff from other YouTubers and uh, do more unboxing or unbaggings of uh, random stuff. So uh, I think it was kind of a fun thing. So let me know what you think.